See there? That's the door we need to reach. And those annoying prefects would love nothing more than to rat on us to Scribner. So don't let them see us. Understood? I can be sneaky. Let's go. Hold on now. There's a spell you should know. The disillusionment charm. Good for getting places you're not supposed to be. Cast it and you'll appear as little more... Just as long as you keep your distance and stay quiet. Actually be able to turn invisible. Something like that. It's not as foolproof as a cloak, but those are expensive. And spells, spells are free. Give it a try. still here. Quick, behind the bookcase. You told me the librarian would be gone by now. Usually, but it'll still be alright. Do you see her desk behind me? The key is in the drawer of that desk. Now, here's what we're going to do. I'll create a distraction to draw her away. You focus on getting the key. I'll meet you outside of the restricted section. Wait, why do we need a key? Isn't there a spell for this? Alohomora. That's how I always used to get in. But the librarian twigged that I knew the spell and cast an anti-Alohomora charm on the lock. So now it's just this key. But don't worry. I said I'd get you in, and I always keep my word. Trust me. Peeves. wasn't so difficult after all. Now, to find that book. Oh, that one's charm to look more useful than it is. It's fooled me twice. Never judge a tome by its cover, I say.
Ghost, don't let her see you. Should be in the clear now. No need for us to be skulking about. So what is it you've been looking for? I'm looking for a cure to help my twin sister, Anne, so that she can return to Hogwarts. Because Merlin knows everyone else has given up. Why do you think you'll find a cure in the restricted section? Does the Hogwarts Matron have nothing that can help Anne? No! We've tried everyone from Nurse Blaney to St. Mongo's. But I can research on my own. No need to concern yourself with that right now. Let's focus on what you're after. Which is what, precisely? I'll know it when I see it. You're being awfully cryptic. than a job and all. Secrets of the darkest arts. I'm impressed.
exploring where they shouldn't be. Naughty, naughty, you'll get caught. Peeves, don't you? I'm going to tell. I'm going to tell. I'm going to tell. <laughs> oh, blasted Peeves! I've got to stop him, or at least get to the librarian with a good excuse for all of this. Wait, I don't want you getting into trouble for me. I have a way with the faculty when it comes to disciplinary matters. Besides, I like having friends who are in my debt. Now go. Good luck in your search. Now, where has that damned poltergeist got to? I know just the spell to repair this on. Repair it. Magic. That's it. this lead. Surprising. Lots at the ready. Incendio! Incendio! 
This must be the way forward. But to where? It's about me. After all, Ravenia. You wanted to see me, Headmistress Fitzgerald, Professor Rackham. Miss Isadora Morganach, welcome. Professor Rookwood, Professor McCaw. We understand that you are adjusting well to life at Hogwarts. I am. I am glad. Especially in light of your unusual situation, starting as a fifth year. As it happens, I was also admitted to Hogwarts as a fifth year, I've never heard of another like us. Miss Morganock, when we spoke yesterday after class, you asked about the 
Beautiful swirls you saw years ago when we visited your hamlet. I recognized you all immediately. I cannot thank you enough for what you did. We were glad to help. And yes, I did see swirls of magic everywhere that day. My father insists it was my imagination running wild, but it was certainly real to me. It was not your imagination. Percival, Professor Rackham can see them too, but we have never known of another who could. I don't understand. What are they? The whispers or traces that appear when a particular form of ancient magic is wielded. Ancient magic? Few are capable of wielding it. Hogwarts itself is a stronghold of ancient magic. So if I can see traces of ancient magic, does that mean I can wield it too? With the proper training. But let us not get ahead of ourselves, Miss Morganach. Before I can train you to wield such magic, you must first master all that Hogwarts has to offer. A magic this powerful can do great harm in the wrong hands. It must be wielded by a select few. As such, we ask that you not speak to anyone about what we have discussed here today. Sebastian! Sneaking in the restricted section again! I had thought we were through with this mischief. Clearly detentions are insufficient. I'm afraid I must take this to the headmaster. But that being said, Peeves informs me that you didn't come alone tonight. If someone has coerced you, I would have you tell me. You're a bright boy. Don't waste this. There was nobody else. I came alone. Oh, Sebastian. What will your uncle say? <laughs>
cannot be serious. Goblins working with Rookwood makes no sense. It is rather unorthodox, to say the least. Unorthodox? It's inconceivable. It's... Ah, Fig. You have a visitor. I'll see what I can find out. Hmm. Sir, I was able to search the restricted section while you were with Professor Black. It was a book we were after. What? That's... Wait. You accessed the restricted section? But how? Thinking on it, perhaps it's best you spare me the details. Fair enough. In fact, the book was below the restricted section, as it appeared on the map. I want to hear everything. First, let's have a look. Oh. Oh, dear. Some of these pages seem to be missing. It appears someone has got to the book before us. Still, I will need time to study what remains. Perhaps we can still salvage something useful, though it may take some time. I wonder why it was here, below Hogwarts. I think I know, sir. I saw two more memories where I found the book. Another pensive. Godric's heart. The man we saw before, Percival Rackham, was a professor here. The first memory showed him and three other professors using ancient magic to restore a hamlet from a drought. Miriam was right. And the second memory? In the second, they were talking to a student who started as a fifth year, like I did. She could see traces of magic too. Why those memories? Hmm. Perhaps this book will explain. Now I'll have to take it with me to London. The headmaster has insisted that I speak directly to the minister about George's death. I understand. I'll see what I can learn about the missing pages while you're gone. Good. Don't neglect your studies. Your wand work is improving by the day. But you'll want to pay attention in herbology and potions. There's more to magic than spellcasting. Plenty to keep me occupied while you're gone. You've done exceptionally well. I look forward to seeing all that you've accomplished when I return. Oh, and don't neglect your friends. You may be surprised by how much you can learn from them as well. Dueling metal and see if we've a new school channel. Meet me in Lower Hogsfield as soon as possible. I would like to talk to you about Rookwood and Harlow, and it might be best to do so outside of the castle. Professor Fig and Weasley have asked that I teach you an additional defensive spell. Please complete the assignments. I and then proceed to see me in my classroom. You're defending Hogsmeade against trolls. You know, there is such a thing as trying too hard.
of our gratitude. Future champion coming through. Hello, Lucan. I'd like to practice with the training dummy. Excellent idea. This time will be a bit more of a challenge. Ready? That'd be brilliant. Wonderful. I'll set things up. Remember to cast all the spell combinations before the dummy lands again. If you need to stop practicing before you finish all of them, let me know. of wand work. I take to face you in a duel. Thanks, Lucan. You've been a great help. Oh, stop. Don't make me blush. Seriously, well done. Training dummies will think twice before challenging you again. Plus, you'll be even more formidable in crossed wands. Other duelists had better beware. Hello, Lucan. Is the final round of Crossed Wands ready? Big match today. It all comes down to this. The moment that we find out if your training and dedication is enough to win it all. Ready for a shot at glory? I certainly am. Brilliant. Are you dealing with a partner? Yes, Sebastian. Then let's get started. We can make this a real victory. That's the spirit!
That was nothing. I'm just getting started. If the best duelists in the school weren't enough for competition, then perhaps you should consider transferring to Durmstrang. Now, to the victor goes the prize! And so it is my great honour to present you with this simple yet elegant token of supreme dueling accomplishment! Thank you. It's been an honour. You earned it! You are a duelist to be reckoned with! Now that we've definitively crowned the tournament winner, I suppose I should get back to my schoolwork. Wonder how my herbology plants are doing. I haven't tended them in ages. It's been ages since I found it. Huh. I dream of making a better world for me. So, Jan, when did I set my traps? Was it Noah or Noah? Real quick, don't go down easy! Incisio! Uh. 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 Was that meant to be an attack of some sort? Pathetic! Let's bring it! <laughs> 
Only a new student would help me with my sad predicament.
You were able to take care of everything I had asked you to Professor, do. Professor, I completed all of your most recent assignments. Well done. Then you're ready to learn Expelliarmus. Pay close attention. The disarming ch Spell casting requires a focused mind and a steady wand. Good work. The dummy is here if you wish to stay in practice. You seem to have the right end of the stick, but keep practicing. Expelliarmus may save your life one day. Ronan certainly employs creative people. Now, for our next task, we'll be planting detony at our potting tables. 
You can all get started. I should think Professor Garlic would be more careful with her mandrakes. Hmm. I wonder if hippogriffs like knot grass. Yes, Professor? Firstly, well done. Actually, I enjoyed it. How kind of my you think I plan? Let's see how to balance my star thistle arrangement. Niffler's fancy or Disney's restorative properties make it a vital ingredient in the Wigan Mill potion, as you all should know from Professor Sharp's class. Well done. Now, the cabbages do get tested. Yes, Professor. Then come back and see me when you're. Hello. Saw you on your way to Hogsmeade the other day. Nice to meet you. I'm Leander. I'll be showing you the Chinese chomping cabbages. Up these stairs will take us there, but your lead. Nice work in defence against the dark arts, by the way. Excuse me? Your duel with Sebastian. And he's good. <laughs> Thinks he's really good. But you outright slaughtered him. It was brilliant. Oh, well, thank you. I nearly put Sebastian in his place myself. I mean, I would have, if Hecate hadn't stopped me. Didn't she stop that dragon skull from crushing you? <sighs> Typical Slytherin trick, dropping a dragon skull on someone during a fight. We Gryffindors fight with honour. You know that, of course. Here we are, home of the Chinese chomping cabbage. Go on. Now, see that dummy? Just toss the cabbages at it, and they'll do the rest. Look at that! I'll trump on anything they can get their uh, mouths on. <laughs> Mum planted some in her garden last year to keep the gnomes out. Did save her the denoming, but they left her honking daffodils in tatters. Vicious little bastards, aren't they? My kind of plants. Not like stupid booba tubers and bouncing bulbs. The kind of plants that just have your back in a fight. Uh, not saying you can't go it alone, but, well, imagine that wasn't a dummy. Just because those cabbages will chomp on a dummy doesn't mean they do the same on, say, a goblin. It's chaos out there. Trolls in Hogsmeade and such. You can't be above throwing a cruciferous vegetable if necessary. Dogweed in Death Camp has more of them, if you're keen. Other plants too. Ones your parents wouldn't plant in the garden. You get the idea. Anyway, we uh, probably ought to head back to class. Take your time. I'll see you back in class. reminder as to why we should always wear our dragon hide gloves. I shall end our lesson here. Terribly sorry, Mr. Klopp. I attend from... Magical plants have so much to offer. I'm eager to learn more. I'm glad. Herbology is a bounteous subject. Tend to your garden and it will tend to you. Huh. Well, I suppose that's everything. Do come by for a chat sometime. I so enjoy checking in with my new students. Hope those mandrakes are really relishing their new pots. Only cost me my damned hearing.
There you are. The cross one's duelist to beat. Revelio. Be auras or someone from the ministry guarding the school after the incident in Hogsmeade. Professor Black would never allow. Potions is one of the most challenging and hazardous subjects taught at this school. As fifth years, you will be required to reach new heights of both discipline and intellect. You will begin this term by brewing a Wigan Weld Potion. Mr. Takar, can you... Use a strong, even motion when crushing your ingredients. Please be meticulous when adding powder to your potions. One errant sneeze could be disastrous. I see most of you have not forgotten how to stir. Hmm. Not an easy potion to brew. Well done. And from what I hear of your recent exploits in Hogsmeade, Professor... My parents considered keeping me home from school this year after the rumors of a goblin rebellion. Did I hear Professor Sharp say that you have permission to go and... He did say that. He wants me to get more... In... I'm just missing. I suspect that's where I come in. You're as clever as I'd hoped. I simply need a single... I'll get you the Fuipa Feather, as long as you're certain Sharp won't miss it. Prepared with your wizard. Your potion stations organized and free of clutter. Here's the Fuper feather you wanted. Brilliant! You should get that. Should you chop the Dittany or crush it? The wrong answer could result in the unfortunate loss of your eyebrows. And now we add the Mallow Sweet, and... That's odd. What's happening? Wait, it's not supposed to... Ah! What happened? <laughs> well done, Gareth. What now, Mr. Weasley? Sorry, Professor. 
That'll be points from Gryffindor. Again. Mr. Weasley did not do this on his own. His accomplice will answer to me as well. I brewed an Edgerous potion, as you asked, Professor. I'm surprised you had the time. You seemed rather busy helping Mr. Weasley brew chaos. I'm sorry, Professor. I was merely trying to help a friend. Taking responsibility for one's actions does go a long way with me. I shall assume that you've learnt a lesson. As for the work you did today at your own cauldron, I will say you've done well. I confess I was skeptical given the advanced nature of this class and the fact you're a new student. I'm glad I was able to meet your expectations. A rare occurrence. And you do well to remember that you're not a potions master quite yet. In addition to having a solid grasp of how to combine various ingredients, you should gain an understanding of the ingredients themselves. Pay particular attention in herbology. The plants you nurture there are often essential to the potions you brew here. Now, I recommend that you find a safe location in which to practice brewing. You cannot leave a hot cauldron simply anywhere. That'll be all. I think each of us has had enough excitement for one day. Class is dismissed.